Okay, so we are continuing a little with what we've been doing already this morning, and that's talking about chakras and how to activate our chakra centers or energy centers. Um, I am just going to demonstrate here a little bit about the different colors associated with each chakra center, as well as the crystals that we can help. We can use and incorporate into your own healing and into healing with others as well, just to help reactivate balance and um, kind of unblock our, our energy centers. So I have here this beautiful little um, decoration that I find I sur surround myself with these chakra colors and little reminders that are visuals there on my wall, for example, like this also, just to constantly remind myself of for example, okay, being aware of the crime, each of the different energy centers each day. And so, for example, I'll start with the crime. So I'll start at the top of the head. So often to do this with healing, it's maybe myself lying down. So me lying down or doing it with someone else as they're lying down and just using the, the white. And it can be clear crystal, but it can be clear quartz or it can be any white crystal. Generally, the color corresponds with the energy center. So if it's a white crystal, usually it corresponds with crown chakra. So this is using it and to generate energy, to get, to clear, to rejuvenate and restore the balance in the crown chakra. So sometimes it can be the color indigo also, that can be on some decorations or the color white. So here, the third eye, which is all about awareness, open into vision, intuition, dreams. If you've already looked at the video that um, we created about Chakra Tai Chi, there I go a little bit in detail about each of these energy centers and what they're associated with. So here I have Amnesist, and this is a beautiful crystal to help clear and unblock the third eye. So again, lying down and really bringing your attention, centering your attention, your energy into clearing and cleaning this energy center. This is our center of vision, intuition, and dreaming, dreams. So again, really, really important to all of the centers to really help clear, rebalance, and balance, restore. So the color is purple. For center of communication, any blue crystal, maybe you want to, I have actually, oops, thank you. I have around my neck, I have got a green crystal. Now this is, is further down, which I'm coming to next, but you can wear a blue crystal. Often this is our center of communication, so this helps us communicate our thoughts, our feelings, or to express ourselves creatively with others. And this is, so I'm going to put that here, the throat chakra, our center, our center of communication. Here I have green on me around my, uh, on, on, on my neck, and this is uh, the center of our heart center, is our center of love of, of love compassion kindness uh, peace the green is for healing and i have so again i have here this crystal because it can be any green crystal i have jade on me here but this is different and here's rose quartz so the green is for healing the rose is for love rebalancing kindness all of that so i'm going to put both of those into our heart center this is radiating love this is like a constant reminder of me to do so. Here, solar plexus, I have got some cystrine. So again, here I'm putting the cystrine if I'm lying down and doing a little bit of healing on myself or on others. You can do all types of shapes and patterns to redirect, redirect the energy to these centers as well. Um, I have some information on that, but there's so much information online as well about different crystal patterns and how to maybe redirect energy so it's right in the center but simply you can easily just put the crystal on top of your chakra center which is right here where the two ribs meet so i put that in here and the sacral or center of sexual energy sensuality and creativity just below the belly button here i have some jasper the color is anything orange and if you put the orange crystal there and then help focus, bring your inner eye, close your eyes, bring your attention down to this energy center, creating the flow, the free flow of energy, releasing as you breathe out anything that you need to release here, any blockages, 
any pent up um yeah release of any stuck energy and then you just you just rest it there and breathe into that just to create that flow and ease I put that in there and then lastly often the color for a root chakra can be like a very deep rich red or a or a kind of earthy color like a brown of the earth but often the crystals are like um, black as well so a deep rich red or black so here's some smoky quartz really brilliant crystal for grinding really bringing you down into the earth so if you use it or any any dark crystal it's really fantastic for rooting for grinding close your eyes center yourself relax when you're lying down or doing this in someone else and allow that that root connected vibration and that sense of safety and centeredness to just to breathe into that breathe into it and as you release breathe out any sense of separateness and individuality and disconnection and um, so i'll just put those in there and basically that's a very quick and brief introduction about using crystals to balance and realign your chakra centers.